Disney is in trouble. Bob Iger has five big problems to solve, the magic has been missing this year for Disney, last month, the company celebrated its 100th anniversary, and there was much to commemorate. Over the last century, the company has grown into one of the largest publicly traded media and entertainment companies in the world, with a market cap of more than $150 billion, but the future of the House of Mouse hangs in the balance as the company contends with a still unprofitable streaming business, an ongoing actor strike. Declining attendance at Disney World Resort in Central Florida, legal battles with Republican presidential candidate Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and uncertainty. Surrounding a CEO succession plan Disney's stock, at about $84 per share, is at its lowest level in nearly 10 years. It is down 8% since CEO Bob Iger returned as CEO last November, and it's down 3% since the start of the year. Compare that to some of Disney's rivals, Comcast stock is up more than 18% this year, and Warner Brothers Discovery, which owns CNN, is up 22%. Like its competitors, Disney faces an uncertain media environment as viewers increasingly tune out linear TV in favor of entertainment sources big media doesn't control, including TikTok and YouTube. But Disney has been hit particularly hard by some big misses at the box office and questions about how it will replace its fading cash cow, ESPN, among other issues. The company reported its quarterly earnings on Wednesday afternoon and slightly missed expectations on sales but reported better than expected earnings. The company added 7 million core Disney subscribers and narrowed its streaming losses. But Iger announced more severe cost cuts at the company, on Monday, Disney announced that Hugh Johnston, the chief financial officer at PepsiCo, would take over as Disney's CFO, filling the role vacated by longtime Disney executive Christine McCarthy in May. Disney, which is in a quiet period in the lead-up to its ear neem. 